Kentucky in international wrestling. He's competing in the Red Singer. He's out of Stillwater, Oklahoma, 26 years old, reigning world Olympic champion. And this man, John Fisher, 26 years old, out of Ann Arbor, Michigan, in the blue singlet, will be wrestling him. We asked John earlier what life would be like without John Smith. Well, sometimes, you know, I do. I think, well, you know, what if he wasn't there and I'd be first, you know, but it's like he's here. And it's like, you know, I can't worry about that. I figure, you know, what I got to do is have it where somewhere saying he's second. I'm first, you know, and hopefully it's here. But John Fisher will have to contend with John Smith, and he did a great job in the first match today in determining this Olympic candidate at 136. He beat John Smith 4-2. to two. A great move, Jimmy. John was in on a double leg there, and John Smith tried to counter out of it. Fisher held him, kept good position, put him on his back. But Smith evened it up with the second match, and he won that one 3-1. to one. To take us down to this match, the final one, the third one. One wrestler must win two out of three to be a member of the 1992 Olympic team. Fisher, the contender, the challenger, rather. John Smith, the contender. One match decides it all right here. What's the strategy right now? What does John Smith do that's different? What does John Fisher do that's different? Well, Fisher's got to try and do what he did in that first match and keep a good bow stance and keep John Smith out of his offense. You know, I think it was kind of a disadvantage. Smith hasn't wrestled for a while. He didn't have to wrestle in the Nationals. He didn't have to wrestle in the Charles in Philadelphia. Well, he was working out and training, but it's not the same as being in competition. And so he was a little bit sluggish. Hit. This is going to score the first point. He takes, oh, a tilt, but he's getting countered on it. He created the action. I think they're going to give him one point here for the reversal. Well, there it is. It's going to be knocked up at one and one. Fisher came out aggressively. That's Kenny Monday right now in John Smith's corner. He's already made the Olympic team. That's the second time today that Fisher has gotten reversed after being on top. I and mean, those are just mistakes you don't want to make. He had that match. He tied the, the second match up one-to-one -one with less than a minute to go, and he gives up a reversal and ends up the, the whole match. Well, Kenny Monday concerned a little bit about what has happened in this match. He was looking for two, and they did give him two. They gave two for that counter when he reacted on the reversal came on top he exposed Fisher's back they're giving him two points again i kind of question the consistency we've had here today one time the offensive man gets the doubt another time the offensive man doesn't get the doubt well fisher had a, uh, expressed a concern earlier he was uh, was announced that he was Sheila, the international wrestling organization wrestler of the year and he was a little concerned about the timing of it put a little bit of extra pressure on him oh Fisher, a nice job on the cradle out of bounds they're going to give him one he was looking for the tilt but he gets only one that knocks it up at two and two boy this is a great match this is what it's all about it's what it comes down to making the olympic team 353 left in the match two to two I john did. smith world champion olympic champion goodwill games champion national champion pan am champion won the sullivan award and right now he's fighting battling to make this 1992 olympic team that just shows you some of the depth that we've developed in the, this country over the past 10 years we've got people you know we've got our only five-time world champion and he's having a problem making the team this is a situation the soviets had for a lot of years this is being the aggressor here this entire match well when you think of the career that john smith has had five consecutive world titles but five anyway it's tough no injuries no problems you've got to have a lot of luck to make all that happen well that's right you know and i know john's had some injuries this is you know, a nice single, single leg this is squaring up pretty well though he's got a nice body lock all right don't set about well smith a little concerned about that one because he was on the edge and aggressively up attacking no point three minutes to go two to two the final match each wrestler has won one match this will decide the olympic team at 62 kilos you can see john so quick and he, he keeps changing levels he keeps fisher off balance and it really takes a lot of fisher's offense away from him he can't really get into his stance and get going because he's so concerned about that low shot of john smith and there's a high crash he misses the single he comes in on the other side but fisher's watching he's wrestled and he's stopping it oh a nice duck under Fisher counters again. We're seeing great attack and great counter. This is great wrestling by both of them. 
No, they're going to give one. They're going to give one. That gives Smith the lead. Three to two. Two of the three officials must agree. Referee, Matt Judge, Matt Chairman. They did. John Smith gets the point. He's now ahead three to two. Two minutes and 15 seconds to go. Well, Fish is going to have to get some offense going. He can't because John's not going to take any wild shots now. He's ahead with two minutes to go. Fish is going to have to get going and make something happen here. Well, John Fisher's confident, but not cocky when he came into this match. He showed us he's not conceding anything. No matter how many times you're a world champion, you've got to be ready to wrestle. Out of bounds, 151 remaining, still 3-2 to two for John Fisher. John Smith. John Smith leading in the match, 3-2. to two. This has been one of those guys who's just right been on the edge of greatness. And as we, you know, alluded to before, maybe if John Smith wasn't around, maybe John Fisher could be world champion. He's certainly shown, shown today that he can compete at that level. John Fisher, assistant coach at University of Michigan, where he wrestled and was a four-time All-American. 26 years old. John Smith, also 26 years old. Very successful despite being relatively young in international wrestling. This is in on the single leg, and, but he's just, he doesn't have good position with his back. Smith is real good at countering here, too. He's got so much leverage. The referee stops the match, just under a minute remaining. Still a one-point lead for John Smith. Looking to make his second Olympic team. There's that high crack. Nice penetration to close the arm. He's going to get two for the exposure. Well, they're giving two. We've got a discrepancy here in the call. And they're going to get two and two, Jimmy. We had one official called two red, one called two blue. Now they make it a wash and call two two. John is really concerned. A couple of times in this match, maybe a little bit of frustration here on his part, being a successful and being taken right to the wire here. It's five to four. Still for John Smith. They go out of bounds. They're not going to give any points for that. Fisher wanting to see one point. No points. 26 seconds remaining. John Smith still winning five to four. Great match, Jimmy. A great match. This is really aggressive now. He's taking the, the last couple of shots to Smith. You gotta see what John's strategy is. He's in on the leg again. He goes out of bounds again. No, he turns the corner. Well, he let up a little bit on the edge of the mat, and the referee stops the action. Well, we have a match judge here calling for one point. Is he going to get confirmation from the map chairman? And he does. Boy, I tell you, this has been... Uh, they're going to give one point to John Smith there. Fisher conceded a little bit in that position on the edge of the mat, and they're going to award one point to John Smith. He's now ahead 6-4, to four, 15 seconds to go. Fisher in on a nice leg attack. Smith concedes the move. He's still ahead by a point. Well, you can't concede anything. Five seconds to go. John Fisher's got a heck of a gut wrench. And time runs out. John Fisher takes John Smith right down to the wire. The third and deciding match. John Smith wins it six to five. A great effort on the part of both athletes here. Some of the crowd is booing, Jimmy, but I think you have to recognize the tremendous offense and defensive uh, wrestling of both of these athletes. Fisher, very distraught, but he gave everything he had. Well, that was a great match. So that was a three great matches, two great athletes out there. Nice high crack here, kind of a deciding move in the match, Jimmy. He pulls it into a crack down. What's John's going to hook the arm here? This is a 2-2 two -two situation. It's kind of difficult to say who, who initiated it right there, and they ended up giving 2-2. Two 2-2, -two. Two two, but John Smith will make his second Olympic team, the winningest wrestler ever internationally for the United States. Standing what ovation. a valiant effort, a standing ovation here for both athletes. That's not just for John uh, Smith, that's also for John Fisher. What a tremendous effort for a young man who I think will have a bright future in international wrestling.